Today we're going to be doing up the pattern for the fur mittens. So first thing I'll do is grab a square, all right? So a large enough square that we're able to square off this piece of paper. So I'm just lining up the square right over here, all along on the edge of this paper. This paper is straight on the edges. This isn't the part that I cut out. This is the part that I cut out. So, but obviously it's not gonna be square. So I'm just gonna square it up and just line it up right over here as best I can. All right, and draw a straight line. Because once we're able to establish square, then the rest of the template's gonna be nice and easy. Now, we know what square is. I want to try to find uh, the midway point here. I'm assuming that this is going to be approximately the middle of the glove, or the mitt I should say. I don't know why I keep calling it glove. So I'm just lining up this top piece right here to where the line that I just drew. Okay. And that looks pretty square. And here's going to be the middle. That should be long enough. So what I'm going to do is mark off my 18 inches to where this is going to end. So we'll just line it all up exactly where you want it. And I know that the 18 inch mark is right there. Okay? All right. Our next step is measuring from the top of the mitt right to this point, right before it tapers off. Okay? So the measurement for this is 10 and 7 eighths. Now you can put 11. Um, it's so close, but uh, 10 and 7 eighths, so I'm going to write that down, make a little mark, right there, so I know exactly where that is. All right, next we measure the width. The width of this point should be 7 inches. Okay, so I know half a seven is 3.5 a side. Okay, so we're going to measure out 3.5 right here from the center point. Okay, and 3.5 at this point. But it's not going to be straight unless. We square it. Okay? So three and a half. Basically there. And then three and a half to this point. Should be here. I'm lining up where I measured the 10 and 7 eighths. I know this is probably not coming out on video, but you can get the gist. 10 and 7 eighths. So I got the 10 and 7 eighths from the top all the way over here. And I got the three and a half to the sides. And this will pretty much give all our measurements all the way around here, okay? To this point. Pretty straight. Okay. So now we know that this is going to be our width, seven inches. All right. 
Let's see if I can give it a quick zoom in. I don't zoom in on this camera because my camera is probably on the verge of dying and it's just crappy. So if I move my hands, it'll track it. So you can kind of see where I'm at so far. So I got the center line and all the way down here I have the bottom the bottom line for the 10 and 7 eighths 7 inch line okay now we're gonna have to draw a circle or a semi circle as best we can now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can use a compass if you want, or you can use a bowl. Whatever draws from the center point and fans out, okay, all the way along here. You know you can you can freehand it if you want to. It's not a big deal. Uh, you just gotta find where you're gonna be drawing your line to and measuring it like that. So I want to draw my circle first. So I've taken three and a half inches from the center here and three and a half inches over here to the left and three and a half inches from the top. Okay. Now you can get as creative with the end of your mitt as you want. You can make it more tapered so it's almost like an oval or you can do it like a half circle. However you want your mitt to basically look. But for template reasons, uh, we're just going to make it this and go from there. You can play with this template as much as you want. So I've, I just found a plate that I'm going to use to complete this circle. Happens to be approximately what I'm looking for. And this may not make a perfect circle, right? But you can also just kind of sketch it in afterwards as best you can. So right now I'm just lining the top right here up to the point that is three and a half inches down. And I'll fill in the blanks here. And all the while making sure that you are centered on the mitt. All right. That's a little off, but it's pretty good. Remember, you still gotta cut this out, all right? So when you do cut it out, you'll have a little bit of uh, play room uh, to kind of like round it out or shape it however you want when you do cut it out. Because right now you do have your basic measurements. Okay, so that's, that's pretty good. It's essentially the same as mine. Now if you feel that this is maybe too tapered up here, well, sketch it and kind of round it out a little bit. So then you know that when you do cut it out, you're just going to be cutting on the outside of your marks. All right. And right now I'm just going to be connecting the dots now. So now I just got to complete these lines right over here, all the way down. All right, so hopefully this worked here. So, <laughs> sorry, I was using a pencil because, well, it's easier to erase pencil than a Sharpie marker, but you guys will not be able to see any of this. So I just traced out what I was doing here, and now I'm just gonna fill in the blanks here. All right, so I'm just connecting the two edges here. I don't think this necessarily has to be overly squared. You'll get the gist. Because you're going to be cutting this out anyways. Alright. Because we already know that these two points that I'm connecting are square. So you just got to make sure that your marker is somewhat aligned to each of these marks. Okay. So that's that. So we know we have this piece right over here. Okay. Now we're going to be doing tapering the ends here. Okay. 
So we don't know that this is going to be the end mark. Okay, now at this point you can make your glove um, uh, shorter, longer, wider, so it doesn't really matter exactly. So I'm going from my center mark. We know that my center mark is square. So from the center mark, I'm going to go, uh, let's say, just for argument's sake, because my mitt before was nine inches wide. All right, so let's say 10, because that's what I would do uh, next time I make a mitt. So let's go five over here. And making sure everything's nice and square. And from the five, okay. So make the flare a little bit wider. Okay, and five on this side. That should do the trick, let's say, give or take. And out the five. Okay. And now I'm just going to connect it. And from this point. And to this point. But I would definitely suggest that you do extend it to 10 across the cuff here. It may look big right now, but I'm not going to have a huge problem with it. I'll be able to get my my mitt over my clothes, but it shouldn't be any work involved. You should be able to slip that mitt right on and uh, not have a problem at all. So definitely go this route. And I'm just going to connect the last center line with marker here. Center right there. And right now, we just about have the completed template. But we gotta add this other line right over here, okay? Up top here, which is gonna be the cutting if you choose to actually cut this in half. I cut it, I cut my template here. So we just have to measure, I believe it's two and a half inches. Yeah, two and a half inches. And we'll do that right now. Okay. So we have our two and a half inches. All right, so here are the measurements. Okay, I'm not gonna try to move my hand very much because the camera tries to track it here. So from the top, okay, to the first line is 8.5 inches, okay? From the first line to the second line, it's 2.5, okay? From the second line to the bottom, okay? It's seven inches, okay? And the width of the base, okay? It's 10 inches, and if we track it up here, it's 7 inches wide all the way through, okay? Until we get here. So remember that I measured down. Three and a half inches. Okay. I don't know if that's coming through here. So I measure down three and a half inches and across three and a half inches. And that's what I came up with to start this circle. Okay, to start the curve from the top to over here. That worked for me. So, but if that doesn't work for you and you want a little bit different of a shape, great. You know, this is 
quite flexible for creativity. Okay, so here are the measurements. So this is going to be, I'm going to pad out here, and this is going to be the front of the glove, but we're going to be basing all of our measurements off of this, okay, because this is going to be the top of the mitt, okay, the top of the mitt's measurements need to be precisely accurate to what the bottom of the mitt is going to be right because you're going to have to sew both of these seams together and they have to be exactly the same all right so i drew the thumb portion okay over top of this top template um, okay so i'm going to be measuring from here all right all the way to the tip of the thumb just so you will know where to start exactly. Okay, so it's about four and a half inches. Okay, so 4.5 inches. Okay, so from this line, which is the first line, all the way to the tip of the thumb, 4.5 inches. Now, I'm going to measure from the side, okay, where the thumb meets right in the corner there, okay? So right here. Let's find the corner. And that's gonna be three and a half inches. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a line. Okay. Three and a half inches. They can read my writing there. I, okay, what are the measurement? So it kind of tapers here, right? It doesn't necessarily have to taper. You can kind of square it off if you want and round it out, but it kind of tapers all the way up here. So as long as you have a line that's four and a half inches to the top here, and I measured that tip, let's measure that too. So you'll know kind of from the edge to the middle, okay? And that's one and a half inches. 1.5 inches, and it should be exactly the same, okay? So 1.5 inches, 1.5 inches, okay? From that point. So we got one and a half inches from the center here to the edge, one and a half to the center to the edge, right where it meets. Okay. And then it kind of starts tapering down. Okay. And it ends right here. <clears throat> so let's do a quick measurement here. Let's go right in the middle. So at least you know where the arc is. All right, so it kind of starts tapering down, but you may not know, well, it's approximately here or there or over here. So let's measure that right now. So it looks like an inch. Okay, so one inch. Then it just kind of tapers down. Okay, hopefully that's descriptive enough for you. All right, so I cut around and I have the Thumb portion, okay, so this is going to be the outside thumb portion, okay, so right along here and where this thumb is and my camera is tracking, great, so I got this all cut out and now I'm just going to trace it, if my marker wants to work, because this thumb has to match the palm. This is the palm that we're going to be tracing out right now. All right, so we stop over here and go all the way down. Stop there. OK. 
Okay. I draw all the way around. Is this thing tracking on me? Okay, and then I'm gonna stop over here. Complete the tip of the thumb. And done. Alright, so just about there. Now this isn't exactly the same, but this is already the finished piece that I have from my mist that I've already made. But it's not going to be the exact dimensions, but you can kind of get the gist of what I'm going to be figuring out next. Is this portion. The tip of it, where it connects. Okay? So I'm going to have to draw that in right now. But you're not going to have this. So let's figure this out. Alright, so once we have this template drawn out, okay, for the inside palm. Okay, I just flipped it upside down. I'm just gonna show you what you need to do to make sure that's long enough. So I took the piece that we have cut out from the top piece, okay? I'm gonna piece them together. Now you can tape this if you want. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. So you piece those guys together. And then you line up the tip of the mitt, okay? This is the thumb right here, okay? The thumb. And you're gonna line the tip of the thumb up to the second line from the top, okay? First line, second line. You wanna line up the second line, okay? So line up the second line and straighten it out as best you can. It doesn't have to be totally, totally square because it'll be a nightmare trying to figure that out. So, so line them up. You know, we'll try to line up that this line is going to be fairly straight to that one. Okay? And line her up. Make a little pencil mark. Okay, it's going to be there. Pretty much. Okay? And then you're just going to take this away. And you're going to line this guy up to there. Yeah, that's about right. See how they line up right here? That kind of just blends perfectly. Okay, I'll try to move my hand out of the way so you can see. And there you go. And that's just to make sure that this portion is going to be lined up to the tip of the mitt. Okay, over here properly. So everything lines up. And then what I'm going to be doing is just drawing it out. That should be about where we want it. And this way we, we, we have exactly the same angle of the tip of the mitt for both sides. We're just copying off the same template. Because if you didn't do it this way, you're not going to have two identical pieces matching towards each other for the seam. Okay. And that will be our finished palm. And then we'll just cut this out. Alright, uh, so right now I'm just checking my work to make sure that uh, all of uh, the alignments are proper. So I'm taking my template right now and lining up the tip okay, of the thumb to the second line that we originally measured with. Okay. So let's line it all up to make sure that bottom and the top meet 18 inches so you can't see this but it says 18 inches from the bottom here to 18 inch tip so everything's in alignment okay because this end is going to be attaching to this end and this is how it's going to go together and you're sewing okay so basically, 
these two pieces are going to meet. And both of these seam allowances have got to be exact. So seam allowances all the way around. On both pieces. Okay, so both pieces are going to get the seam allowance. Whether you choose to have it a quarter of an inch or five eighths, I probably do five eighths because you know that you're going to have a proper thick seam. Okay. So you don't have to worry about it um, uh, tearing the fabric down the way because the string is going to be stronger than the fabric, uh, period. You know, obviously if you're going to be using leather that would be different, but you're going to be using coyote or whatever fur you are using. Beaver would be pretty thick, I guess. If you're going to be doing a beaver mitt, that would be pretty cool too. But uh, yeah, so you're going to have a seam allowance there. I didn't bother putting the seam allowance all the way along here, okay? Because everything's going to meet up here, okay? Because this is all going to be folded in, right? As the seam allowance, right? But no seam allowance here, right? Because the nine that I had previously, all right? The nine was seam allowance that was assumed already, okay? But as we discussed, it's a little bit more narrow than I thought. So we extended this one to 10, okay? So seam allowance there. Now if you do decide to cut this in half, okay, like I did over here. So at the first one, you can cut it here or here, but I thought there wouldn't be an issue up here. All right, so I left a 5.8 seam allowance over here as well. Okay, so take that into account. All right, so I got a measuring tape here, and I'm gonna measure the circumference of my hand. Okay, so it looks like here, let's go to the widest, obviously. I'd say nine inches in the middle of my hand. And the length of my middle finger, let's see here, three and a half, and say from the wrist to the longest finger is eight inches all right and what else here maybe from the thumb tip of my thumb to the exterior of my hand so over here is about seven inches so those are just some numbers that you may want to base your measurements on I uh, you might want to increase the size of the mitt, uh, length, okay, so where the thumb, let's find the mitt here, okay, so what I mean is if your fingers are quite a bit longer than mine, right, you may want to increase the length of the top piece, right, so this piece right here, okay, and there is the other piece this piece right here, right? So just to put it in perspective, say if you wanted your mitt longer, you may want to increase the overall length from this point, okay? For both sides. And then you want to increase the overall length on this matching up with this piece, okay? So both overall lengths would have to be exactly the same, but you may want to increase that um, maybe you have long thumbs, you know, <laughs> you may want to increase the thumb length as well. Uh, 
Let's see if we have lots of room on the sides. I wouldn't necessarily increase the sides. There is pretty good room. Now, if you're going to be putting a glove in here as well, right, so say if you're a hunter and you want to just quickly slip off this glove, this mitt, sorry, and then have your gloves underneath, you know, but I don't know, I think it's pretty good. And the sides of them, I got a pretty good amount of play here, like if I push my hand all the way to this end, okay, I probably got a good inch yet, okay, so that's where my hand is. So I got quite a bit of wiggle room, especially with the hands as well, the tip of the fingers. So it's pretty good in size in that respect. So overall, the size is good. I wanted to make sure that I had a lot of room in here to play with. All right, so I just want to go through the orientation of these templates when you do decide to cut them out and organize them appropriately for matching them to which is left, which is right. What you're going to be needing for the left and right mitts is just this template okay these three pieces right here okay so all you really have to remember is this would be the left good side okay this template right here just to put it in perspective so this is the left mitt okay that's the left template okay so it matches up Okay, it'll just be the opposite when it's the right. Okay, so you just gotta flip it over. So just get it straight in your heads, okay? When you are cutting these out, because you don't want two left mitts or two right mitts, because then that'll be just devastating. So just remember that you have it in your head, left and right, good side and bad side. All right, so this is the good side for this mitt, and this is the bad side, which would just be the, the insulation part of it, the fur part of it, the inside of it. So inside, outside, just make sure you got that straight. Same thing with this piece right here, right? This is the left good side, and you just flip it, and this would be the right. So left, right, just make sure you have that straight because like I said, this will be the left good side, all right, this would be, I have it labeled because I just don't want to screw it up. So okay, and this, this would be the left good side for the palm. All right, so you can see where the end goes right at the tip, all right? And then it folds, and this would be the good side, right? That's how you kind of put it together. Just in your head, when you're going over it, when you're about to uh, cut out your templates onto your fur or material, whatever you want to use, just have that straight in your head. You just don't want to be tired and all of a sudden, next thing you know, you have two left mitts all cut out. And then finally, this one, right? It doesn't matter, okay? Because this is pretty much all you have. This will be the top and there's no deviation from the top, okay? It's just the same thing throughout. Just get these two sorted out in your head and you'll be laughing. So basically you make sure that you have one of this and flip it over and one of these, okay? So basically this thumb part and then having a matching one that goes this way as well, okay? And the same thing with this guy, all right? Have that thumb piece on the inside. And the op opposite mitt would be on the inside as well. Then you'll be able to have it all sorted out in your head. 
One more thing I will mention. I noticed when I was editing the video, um, it's one and a half. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer here for you guys. When I was editing the video, I noticed a little bit of a discrepancy with some of the measurements. It's accurate, it's just this arrow, okay, that's leading across here, the three inches. It's more like three inches up here, right? That's kind of what I meant. Okay, so where my ruler is, it's three inches for the width of the thumb. That's up here, okay? Because then I later said it's three and a half over here, which is actually this line right here. I'm going to edit it. Okay, it's three and a quarter. Okay, so three and a quarter over here. So from this arrow leading to the base of the thumb is three and a quarter. Okay, and I'll double check it again, triple check it. Okay, yeah, three and a quarter. And up here, middle of the thumb is three. Just so you'll be able to see where the taper is, okay? And I'm going to write that on the template just for future reference. So three inches up here and three and a quarter inches right here. There is a taper coming down this way because before it just didn't add up. You'd be 0.25 of an inch further this way and that wouldn't be a big deal if you wanted your thumb a little wider. Not a huge error but it would it's not exactly of what my mitt is. So up here three, okay, 3.25 for the taper down to the base and everything else after that is accurate. So I hope this video was helpful for whoever wants to make a mitt like this. I made this video because I couldn't find any templates online. Everybody wants to sell their templates. Um, there wasn't any instructional video. There's videos of people demonstrating their finish mitts or basically how they would do it, but no measurements involved whatsoever. So I just came up with these measurements on my own and hopefully people can kind of streamline their process and not spend so much time as I did and they, they can produce their own fur mitts for themselves. I just want one pair of mitts, that's all I want and uh, now I got them for hunting. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys. All right, thanks for watching.